What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 17 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to trigger or invoke the Lambda function asynchronously using API Gateway. So by default, API Gateway invokes the Lambda function synchronously. So basically, uh, when synchronous invocation happens, API Gateway will trigger or invoke the integrated Lambda function and it will wait for the response to return and then it will pass on that response to the end client. So while the asynchronous invocation happens, API Gateway will trigger or invoke the integrated Lambda function and probably it will not wait for the response. Uh, instead, uh, it will just return status code 200 and no response or no JSON will be returned back to the end client. So that's how, uh, so that's the basic difference between asynchronous and synchronous invocation. So as you can see on my screen, I have the API endpoint. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new resource and new method, right? Just to show you everything from scratch. And apart from that, I have this Lambda function that is API async. So it's the simple Lambda function that we are going to integrate it with the method that we are now going to create, right? So this is the very simple Lambda function that we have. So I will go back to API gateway, uh, click on resources from the left panel actions, say create resource. I will say async and say create resource. Now within that resource, I'm going to create a method. So actions create method, I will say post. Then click on the stick mark. Now here it's asking us to integrate the Lambda function. So here I am not going to use Lambda proxy integration, right? So I'm going to copy this Lambda function name and paste it over here and say save. Okay. So now we have created resource, we have the Lambda function, we have the method, right? So usually we invoke the API endpoint and we get some response, right? And that's by default synchronous invocation, right? So basically asynchronous invocation can help when you want the end client to hit the endpoint or invoke the endpoint and leave, right? So probably it also comes handy while you want to set up AWS Lambda destination uh, because it only works with the asynchronous invocation. If you want to learn more about AWS Lambda destination, then the video link is in the description, right? So now we will move on with the configuration uh, for asynchronous invocation, right? So the very first thing is that we have to go to method request. And within method request, click on HTTP request headers. And here we are going to add a header. So say add header and within that say invocation type, right? So, and then click on this tick mark. Now, once this is done, click on method execution, then click on integration request and within integration request click on http headers now here uh, we are going to add the key value saying add header and within the name uh, it will be x hyphen amz hyphen invocation hyphen type right and within mapped from it's going to be method dot request dot header dot invocation type right and once you are done with this click on this tick mark right and we are done with the configuration so now we are going to deploy this API endpoint. So click on action, say deploy API, select the deployment stage that is version one in my case and say deploy. 
right now let's go ahead and try to invoke this api endpoint copy this url go to postman paste it over here slash async post method and we are done so click on send now it returns status code 200 and the body right so this is basically the synchronous invocation uh, that just happened right now in order to invoke this asynchronously we have to pass the header right so we have to tell the api that it's an asynchronous invocation right so within key uh, you have to mention invocation type and within value you have to say event right and now click on send now it will not return anything it will simply say status code 200 over here right so we will go back to lambda function and we will check the cloudwatch logs that whether it uh, invoked successfully or not so go back to lambda function click on monitoring view logs in cloudwatch so here we will find two logs right because we had invoked the api endpoint two times right so click on this logs and as you can see uh, we have two invocation request or two execution basically of the lambda function right so in case you want to invoke this api endpoint synchronously then simply don't pass this header and if you click on send it will return the response so this is the synchronous invocation now if you want to invoke this api endpoint asynchronous then pass on this header and say send so as you can see uh, this is how you can switch between synchronous and asynchronous invocation right so now uh, one point I mentioned that uh, we can also configure AWS Lambda destination since it works with uh, asynchronous invocation, right? So let's go ahead and configure that too. So I have this destination function, right? Uh, so I'm going to add this Lambda function as the destination. So for that, I will require the ARN of this Lambda function, right? So I'm going to copy this. So in case if you want to learn more about AWS Lambda destination, then the link is in the video description, right? So now uh, come back to API async Lambda function, click on configuration, say add destination. I will define condition as on success and source remain as asynchronous invocation and paste the ARN that we have just copied, right? And say save. So it says the function execution rule does not have permission to call invoke function. So let me go ahead and change the IAM role. So basically you have to make sure that you have right permission. So I have the IAM role that is Lambda destination. So click on save. Now let me try to add the destination again. And it should be on success, say save. And it is configured successfully, right? So now uh, let me delete the logs over here. Delete log stream, yes, delete. So first we will go with the synchronous invocation, right? So when we will go with synchronous invocation, the destination Lambda function will not get triggered, right? So let's have a look. So go back to Postman, I will uncheck this. So this is going to be synchronous invocation and we will have the response over here. So I will say send and we have the response. This is the synchronous invocation. Let's go ahead to CloudWatch and check the logs. So this is the log of this API async Lambda function. So I will reload this here. We will find the log of this Lambda function right and here it is now if i go ahead to destination function so here i have one print statement that is destination of event right so if i check the cloudwatch log of this lambda function then i will not find any of the logs right 
because AWS Lambda destination only work with asynchronous invocation. So now we will go back to Postman again and we will try to perform asynchronous invocation. So check this header and say send. Now we don't have response except the 200 status code. That's it. So now let's go back to CloudWatch logs. First we will check API async and we should have the logs. So as you can see, uh, we have the logs over here. It's starting and here it goes, right? Now if I go to the CloudWatch log of destination function, then we will be having the execution log over here, right? So as you can see, we have the logs and we have the event data within this and whatnot. So this is how you can trigger or invoke the Lambda function asynchronously using API Gateway. And this is how you can also configure AWS Lambda destination, right? Using asynchronous invocation. So well, that's it for this tutorial. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.